What's up everyone? We are finally going to open a brand new set today. We will be cracking into the latest master set, the Legend of the Dragon Balls. Now I know what I said, okay? <laughs> I know I said I wasn't really feeling it and that I was maybe not going to open any boxes, but to be honest, I thought I would give it a chance because I know that there's definitely some cards out there where on screen they don't look that great, but then when you see them in person, it's like, wow! So, um, <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a chance, especially since there are two God Rares in this set. And I know what I said about both of the God Rares too, but again, they might look really stunning in person and my opinion might change. So we'll see, but for now, let's just crack into this and see what we can pull. Actually, before we open the booster box, I did get these pre-release packs as well. So I'll quickly open these first. So I just have to give a shout out to Cardtastic. They're the ones who I bought these boxes from. So yeah, I don't know if they ship worldwide, but if you're in Australia at least, definitely check them out. They had really great service and they had the cheapest price for these as well for the pre-order. So. Yeah, check them out and without further ado, let's look at these pre-release packs. It's interesting, I actually really wanted these, but to actually go to a card store event, because I know that they do events for pre-release and um, you know, they regularly do um, tournaments and stuff. But like I've mentioned before, I live in the middle of nowhere, so to get to anything is pretty far and there's not even that many options out here so it makes going to these things a bit more difficult but without further ado let's just see what we got from this pack oh okay nice we have a pre-release Majin Buu shapeshifter I think this is maybe a leader card it is check that out Ooh, and an SS Trunks stunning combination. And they both have the uh, pre-release gold stamp here as well. So definitely hang on to them, that's for sure. Actually, if you guys regularly go to events or tournaments or do anything like that, um, let me know in the comments how you find that. I actually don't play the game, neither Masters or Fusion World, but I actually want to learn. <laughs> um, but for now, I am just a collector, so... Ooh, okay, SS4 Sun Goku Final Battle. That's actually a pretty sweet card. Ooh, <laughs> Die Die Missile Barrage. That's sick, and that's a holo too. Wow. Oof, okay, alright, we're off to a good start, people. Okay. Two more pre-release packs. I think I should have mentioned that both of these only have two cards in them. Oh, that's so cute. Sun Goku, Vengeance for a Friend. Oh, how sweet. Oh, SS Vegeta, Innate Power of the Warrior Race. Damn, what a sick name, right? That is so damn cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these pre-release packs. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect from them, but they're coming through with the fire. Oh, okay, we've got another one. Sun Goku, Vengeance for a Friend. Bujin, Bringer of Chaos. Wow, awesome stuff here, guys. Really, really sick. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so now let's get into the booster box itself. Let's just open this. I am pretty certain this will come with a box topper. And let's see if it's going to be an SPR. Oh, we got Shiatsu. SR box topper. Okay. Oh, these feel thick. Is that normal, guys? Are you finding that? Or is it just me? <laughs> um, or maybe it's just been that long since I've actually opened a master set <laughs> that I just forget what it feels like because I have been opening some of the 
super draggable hero cards and they are only three cards in a pack so they're very thin so maybe I'm just not used to it and I am going to this a bit blind I have seen some cards but I haven't seen the whole set so I don't know what to expect apart from the SCRs and the SPRs and of course the god rares so yeah let's just dive in oh beautiful Ah, uh, we got the same that's the third one now but I like um, the pre-release one with the stamp on it that's pretty cool oh wow seven shadow dragons assembled wow that is sick hmm okay all right we're off to a good start this is this is actually some really beautiful card art deadly offense and defense drum terror is born okay we've got our hollow escape from subspace all right we've got one more oh we got a rare hollow trunks oh okay so so what there's two hollows in each pack is that right or hmm okay all right yeah i i don't know i'm just gonna keep rolling with it <laughs> So while I open these packs as, ooh, as gently as possible, um, <laughs> I want to hear what you guys think about the latest Die Mart trailer that just got released a few days ago. It still hasn't shown too much, but there's a few new clips and yeah, I don't know. Are you guys looking forward to it? Are you guys not interested? Are you indifferent? Let me know in the comments because, oh, sorry, that was totally out of, <laughs> out of frame. Um, yeah, let me know because I'm interested to hear your opinion of it. Me personally, I don't think I know enough about it to really have a strong opinion, but the little bit that I have seen, oh, we've got a Yajirobe Hollow here. Ooh, we have an SR people, our first one in our second pack. Majin Bu confrontation with a noble heart. Okay, this is quite different. It's hmm. It's pretty much a hollow, but it's only got like the most minimal gold foiling on the lettering. A few lines here around the radar, over here as well. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that to be honest. Hmm. Makes me wonder then what the SPRs and the SCRs are going to look like in person then. But oh well, it's still actually a, a really cool card, so I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, it looks like they're going in a bit of a different direction with the foiling. Oh well. Alright, so yeah, my opinion of um Daima at the moment. So yeah, like I said, I don't know too much about it to have such a strong opinion, but the little bit that I've seen, I do actually think it'll be all right. It is the last project that Akira Toriyama did contribute in, so I think because of that it will be special. And I do actually like how with the character design and the animation and the drawing and everything, it is kind of going more back to Dragon Ball style where the edges of the, the characters' faces and everything, it's a bit more soft and rounder, which is more Toriyama's style, as opposed to later in Dragon Ball Z where the art direction kind of changed to a bit more kind of sharp edges, which, you know, I love both. They're both fantastic, but... Yeah, definitely the softer, more rounded edges and style of artwork is definitely more uh, Toriyama's thing. So I think that will actually be something nice. It'll be kind of nostalgic to go back to that style where <clears throat> it's kind of reminiscent of Dragon Ball. So hmm, cool, go sideways card early on in the pack. So. Yeah, that's just my thoughts at the moment. I think it'll it'll be 
cool and yeah I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other but I think the little bits that I have seen and the fact that it's um, Toriyama's last project uh, will make it very special so anyways let's focus on these cards we've got King Piccolo and we have <laughs> unfortunately for you Omega <laughs> that's cool all right awesome yeah these card arts are actually looking pretty nice so far so all right I think I think I am digging it guys <laughs> but yeah we'll see we'll see when we get more SRs and SPRs hopefully an SCR or a God Rare <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see what they look like because I do find that a bit interesting that it's almost like they're holding back with the foiling on that that SR boo that I pulled earlier. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm. Was there something back there? Hmm. All right. We'll find out. We got Margin Boo. <laughs> We got Hercule Satan losing his hair. <laughs> King Piccolo. Piano. Hmm. Eus? Eus Shenron? Mm. Oh, Metacooler. That's sick. <laughs> got Nappa. <laughs> Provoking attack. Sun Gohan. Final battle. Bojack. Bulma! Oof! Oh, baby. That is a beautiful card. <laughs> we got Bojack again. I think that was a different one though. Oh, we got an SR again. Sun Goku attack to save the world. Oh my goodness, guys. This is such a cute card. I really love this. Even just for an SR, this is so kawaii and cute oh my goodness you know some people have talked about how they think that potentially it's not set in stone or anything but potentially they might phase out masters and just fully bring in fusion world but i don't know i feel like people just love masters too much that they just couldn't do that. I think if they did, they would lose a big chunk of their fan base. So I don't think they'll do that, but yeah, it does make me wonder just with those SRs that I've got so far, what they're planning to do for the, like the direction of the card art for those more rarer cards. Hopefully they go back to more insane foiling because yeah, there's there's definitely some older cards that um oh, oh cool, it's the same one I got in the pre-release pack. Very, very nice. Yeah, there's definitely some older cards that just have some really, really stunning foiling, like the SCR Beast Gohan from Fighters Ambition, that low population. Broly card from Destroyer Kings. Man, when you see them in person, and I'm very fortunate that I actually have both. Unfortunately, I didn't pull them myself. I did buy them already slabbed, but they're absolutely stunning. And yeah, when you see that kind of foiling in person, oh man, it's just absolutely crazy. And seeing it on a computer or on a phone really doesn't do it justice. So. Yeah, I really hope that they bring that kind of foiling back because that stuff was insane. And actually, even better yet, if they can kind of do some foiling more in the style of the Japanese Super Dragon Ball Hero cards, that would be insane in the membrane because I think with their foiling, you can't compete, man. They're just on another level. <laughs> All right, enough chat. Let's get back to this. So we got Pan Technique Preparation. Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack Increasing Ranks. Oh, sorry guys, I keep 
cutting this out of the can cam frame, my mistake. We've got Shin Shenron. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I did swap back my mat to the Shenron one because just paying homage to the whole pack art and everything, so I had to do it. Oh, beautiful launch card right here. World protection support. And we got SS Trunks, stunning combination. Epic, love that. Okay, and I'm gonna try my best to not ooh, rip these packs open too fast because I definitely don't want to damage any of these cards. Like, can you imagine if there was a God Rare in one of these packs and I just ripped it and I damaged it? Oh, I probably would never be able to forgive myself. <laughs> okay, we got Trunks, warm up moves. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce your name. <laughs> Spike, Evil Heart, Margin Boo, Friendly Margin, oh, I really loved this dog. That was, I was so happy that he survived. Oh, Ooh, that's a beautiful launch card. Wow, I love that there's like this shattered glass in the background as if, you know, there were there bullet holes or something from her gun. That is really sick. I love that detail. Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Got Bulma again. Oh, baby. <laughs> we got Trunks. Got Bojack. Oh, just in time, Vegeta and Trunks. Oh, that is such a sweet card. I really love when Trunks and Vegeta just have some father and son time. Like when they're both training in the um, in that gravity chamber as well. Oh, just so sweet and yeah, I'm gonna say it. Vegeta is a much better dad than Goku. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, we've gone through quite a few packs already. Uh, actually, maybe not. Uh, oh, six. Okay, we've got six packs done. This is the seventh. All right. Super Water of the Gods, Exchange for Suffering. This has three Go Tanks. All the spirit in the universe. Pretty sure this is probably like everyone sending their energy for Goku's spirit bomb against um, when he's about to fight or when he's trying to fight uh, Majin Buu. <laughs> uh, Naturon Shenron? Naturon? I don't know. Sorry guys if you get annoyed with my really bad pronunciation for <laughs> any of these characters, um, especially with Pokemon. I've opened a little bit of Pokemon and <laughs> yeah, because I'm not familiar with the, um, the most recent generations, I yeah, just completely butcher all of the new Pokemon. So yeah, some of my openings for the Pokemon packs that I've done are a bit awkward, <laughs> but you know what? I'm still going to open some because it's still fun and yeah, there is that 151 collection. That's only the first generation. So yeah, look out for that people if you're interested in Pokemon as well. Okay. Sorry about that guys. My camera just died on me. So I'm just going to do this pack again because I don't think it recorded. So we got Pilaf. Tian Shinhan, Symbol, Raditz, Situation Reversal, SS4 Gogeta, Yamcha, Barbity, Margin Boo, SS Blue Gogeta, Bojack, Comrade Compensation, and Haze Shenron, Great Dragon Quake. Pretty sick. And yeah, sorry for the delay guys with these um, this unboxing because man, there was so many delays with this set. I think a few people have had the same issue as me where, yeah, I think first it was, this was supposed to be released maybe on the 12th of July and then it got pushed to the following week. So I think the 19th, but then in particular with um, some people's 
orders they were delayed even more so yeah I only got this yesterday and I was supposed to have received it yeah like last week so yeah crazy how how many delays there were with this set but I think at the moment just going through all of these it is seeming like it was worth it because these cards are really beautiful so okay I think I think I've come around people I feel like I still hold that opinion in terms of the god res and how they could have been designed a bit better um, but you know if I happen to pull one I ain't gonna complain of course but yeah it's definitely not one that I'm chasing if that makes sense I have mentioned multiple times that if there's any god rare that I can pull myself it's the Vegeta god rare from Realm of the Gods <laughs> so yeah who knows when I'll be able to get that because those cases are pretty uh, limited I think although um, I'm sure there'll be a way that I can get some so but the timing has to be right as well oh okay we have another SR Bojack tournament assault hmm I actually don't mind the look of that card that's pretty sick actually speaking of mad pulls I'm curious to hear if you guys have any kind of legendary pool stories like just when the odds seemed like they were so against your favor but you managed to pull something really epic or you scored a low population card or just you only bought one box of something but you pulled something incredibly rare like I would love to hear your guys legendary pool stories I think that would be really fun to share so yeah let me know in the comments below I would love to hear that all right we got Sun Gohan oh Vegeta final battle whoa 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 okay wait 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 <laughs> what I can't even see this because of the lines what is this DBR oh okay actually yes I do remember there was Dragon Ball rares in this set as well and of course and of course it's a Zamasu card <laughs> It has to be. He has been following me non-stop since I opened my first box of Blazing Aura. But wow, this is this is really sick. I just wish that I could see it a bit better, but all of those lines are just so intense that I can barely really see the Zamasu and the Goku Rose in the back. But I really love this absolutely stunning gold foiling of the Dragon Balls that's kind of the border at the bottom of the card that is actually really beautiful okay we actually have some decent amount of packs left still which is pretty promising so all right let's see what else we get all right Sun Goku Sun Go 10 Martian Buu Shin Shenron, Piccolo, oh, SS Vegeta rescuing a son, oh how beautiful, <laughs> Tian Shinhan, mm, ain't gonna even try to pronounce your name girl, <laughs> suggestion for the Reich Pilaf, Trunks, <laughs> SS Vegeta, and Bujin. Okay, so I think it's official, people. I think I am pretty into this set now. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew I had to give it a chance. I feel like it, I wouldn't have been that fair if I just left it. But, you know, I yeah, it's just interesting how you can see some cards online and just be like, eh, not really my thing. But then when you see them in person, it just completely changes the whole picture. So... Yeah, really, really happy I just decided to give this set a chance. <laughs> so, alright, we got Grandpa Gohan, <laughs> Final Thug. <laughs> Gokua. 
Go Tanks. And ooh, Sun, Goku, and Vegeta battle on a planet. That's actually really beautiful as a hollow. So in saying that I am now converted to really loving this set, I still don't know if I'll be buying any more boxes, who knows, but at the moment I've got this one, which I'm clearly unboxing now, and I have one other box, but to be honest, I don't know when I'll be opening that because I'm actually saving that for something really special for you guys, so keep an eye on that. But yeah, for now, I think I'm happy with two boxes. Oh, okay, what's this? All right, an SR, SS4 Vegeta, Wild Power of Justice. Oof, what a cool name, man. That's sick. All right, we got King Piccolo. This is actually a really beautiful artistic card. I really love this. Trunks, Yamcha, Metacooler, Shin Shenron, Master Roshi, Tian Shinhan, Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack, <laughs> Rage Shenron, Majin Buu, SS Sun Goten. Oh, nice! We have another SR. SS Vegeta and SS Trunks, Father and Son Power. Oh, how precious. <laughs> so beautiful. Alright, King Piccolo, Nuova Shenron, Sun Goten, Raditz, that chick, <laughs> Symbol. I love this one too, actually. Seven Dragons Assembled. That is so sick. I don't really re fully remember all of the SPRs and the SCRs, to be honest. Got Grandpa Gohan again. Pilaf. Escape from Subspace. And, oh, how sweet. We got Sun Gohan and Videl, Bonds of Matrimony. Oh, that's so sweet. Actually, I'm pretty curious if there is two God Rares in this set instead of one. <laughs> Does that mean that your chances of pulling one are doubled or are they still just as rare as all the other God Rares? Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Hopefully there's one in this box because of all the delays, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Majin Buu, Goku, a... <laughs> A older Mr. Satan, thinning with his thinning hair. Tian Shinhan. Um, this chick again. Raditz. Yajirobi. Oh, charging ultra boo boo volleyball. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. SS Blue Gogeta. Oh, this chick again. Girl, how do I say your name? <laughs> Bojack. Ooh, another SR, SS4, Sun Goku versus Nuova Shenron. Wow, okay. Damn, I feel like I'm hitting so many SRs in this set. Is that, is that normal? I feel like normally you get five or six. SRs, I think. Mm. It's been a while since I opened a master set, so don't fully remember, but let's just do a little body count, shall we? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six SRs. Hmm, I still got a decent amount of packs left, so. Hmm, interesting. Alright, next pack, baby. Oof. Ooh, I'm so scared of damaging the card, but yeah, these tabs are just a bit rough today. I don't know. All right, go tanks. Piccolo Junior, Tambourine, Tian Shinhan, Regained Peak Power, Super Donut Chain. Ah, <laughs> oh, go tanks. Pila. Majin Buu, Embodiment of Hopelessness, ooh, sick, Hyajirobi, 
And Majin Buu again. All right, we got the androids. <laughs> Resku, Yajirobe, and Goku. Bojack. Majin Buu. SS Vegeta. Shenron. E.E.S. I.S. Mm. Piano. <laughs> Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball. That's funny. Sun Gohan. Hayes Shenron. Got Go Tanks. And we got SS Trunks. Stunning combination. SS4 Sun Goku. Boom. SS3 Go Tanks. Boom. <laughs> SS Trunks. Masquerade begins. Oh, poor, poor Gohan. Symbol. Spike. <clears throat> SS Vegeta. Bojack. King at Piccolo's Egg. <laughs> Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> Strategy from within. That's funny. Oh, Flame Shot. Okay. And we have another beautiful Trunks and Vegeta card. Super Water of the Gods, Sun Goten, Majin Buu, Launch, Piccolo. Oh, man, I love this card so much. Oh, Powerful Assistance, Haze Shenron, Sun Gohan. Time for the slaughter to begin. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn. Leak much? Trunks, Warrior Spirit, and we have this hollow again. Sun Goku, <laughs> Reich Pilaf, <laughs> Barbity, Galactic Donut Technique, No Challenge for the Strong, Tambourine, King Piccolo's Egg, Majin Buu, Girl, come on. <laughs> Embodiment of hopelessness. Bujin. Whoa, okay, all right, all right. All right, okay. We got an SPR, people. Woo. Shiatsu, sibling trust. Wow, that's actually insane. Again, though, hmm, I don't know how I feel about all of these foiled lines I really do feel like I just can't fully appreciate the artwork of the card because it's just really difficult to see the background but I mean I'm, I'm not complaining that I pulled an SPR that's absolutely fantastic and I'm so happy but yeah I just mm, I just wish I could see it a bit better all right here we go last pack of my first box of Legend of the Dragon Balls. It's been alright. It's been alright. I'm pretty happy with that. So, okay. Here we go. SS4 Gogeta. Krillin. <laughs> My, I don't know why I say Krillin like that. Nataron Shenron. Oh, Son Goku. That's such a beauty. Even for a common card, I love that. Super Donut Chain. Drum, Terra is Born. Trunks, the homie. Shin Shenron. Trunks again. Oh, Vegeta, Warrior Spirit. Oh, baby. And, oh, uh, we got the same SR as our box topper. <laughs> So I have two of them now, so okay, not too bad for a first box of a new set. I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. So that's it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and good luck to everyone else who's opening this set as well. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next one.